You've probably seen a lot of these books that I feel like are all over TikTok and YouTube and like kind of get people excited for reading in 2023 and are like anticipated books coming out. But I feel like I don't see myself in a lot of these book recs. So I decided that I wanted to make a video about my most anticipated reads for 2023 but only by black authors or about black characters in the books and i feel like i started creating videos about like books on youtube because i had a hard time finding myself and i in like content that i was looking for and i feel like representation is so important so if you guys want to see my most anticipated reads for 2023 with either black authors or black protagonists then you guys should definitely keep watching i want to start off this video with two books that actually just released in january like january 3rd i think and the first one is highly suspicious and unfairly cute by talia hibbert and this book actually looks really good because there is forced proximity which i feel like i like if it's done really well and it's about brad and Celine and Celine is kind of like the nerdy type like that kind of vibe and Brad is like a little bit more like the popular crowd and they like used to be friends but then um Celine pretty much feels like Brad which is so funny that it's like the name is Brad it's like you know it's just giving like the stereotypical like high school like I don't know Disney Channel vibe which I love reading about those so um I'm really excited to read this one but Pretty much Brad snubbed her, at least that's how she feels um, their relationship was. And it ends up that um, she signs up for a survival course in the woods and Brad ends up being there. So I guess they end up teaming up for that um, for a chance to win a grand prize. And it looks like they like rekindle their relationship. And I love forced proximity um, because it's like you can't get away from that person. So I feel like in books, people end up having really good conversations and it looks like it's gonna be a good one. Next book that came out, um, I think it was also January 3rd, is a wrong kind of weird by james ramos this is a book that i feel like um, is similar to the one that i was literally just talking about but it's like a little bit different it's about cameron who's a member of geeks and nerds united which is a club at like their school and he i guess was like hooking up with carla ortega over the summer and i think they like worked together or something and um she's like popular and then i guess when school starts she like starts snubbing him and is like not wanting to talk to him like at all and then he finds himself um, unexpectedly bonding with Mackenzie Briggs, who isn't afraid to be herself or wear her heart on her sleeve. And it says that he starts to wonder who he can truly consider as a friend and who might have the potential to become more. So I wonder if this book is gonna be him falling in love with Mackenzie, or if like Carla sees him and Mackenzie together and it's like, oh my gosh, like I like wanna be with him and kind of like cleans up her act. I don't know, but it looks really good. And it looks like it's gonna be from a guy's perspective, which you don't see very often. Um, so yeah, this looks like a good one. Both of these two books are already out, so I will link them below. And I will also link below all these books if you guys wanna pick them up for yourself. I'm trying to find a lot of books by authors and by like just I don't know people that i feel like have debut books and like novels and things and this is definitely one of them it's called real love by rachel Lindsay. she wrote miss me with that and she was also the bachelorette on um the show the bachelorette and she was on the bachelor as well um and she was the like first black bachelorette which i thought was like so cool um and she wrote this book that comes out march 7th and you can pre-order all these books now too, but this is a book about Maya Johnson. She pretty much lives her life like perfectly um, according to like this plan that she has for herself. And her friend Delilah goes on this like tele television reality show and she ends up finding love there. And then she has another free spirited sister named Ella who like pretty much is like a traveler and like has all these crazy stories. And Maya, she pretty much is like, am I doing the right thing by following the plan and like sticking to like my goals in my professional life or do I need to be like more carefree and and fun um and like she doesn't really know which path is going to bring her happiness like sticking to her plan or like maybe being like a little bit more free in life so it looks like it's a really really good book um i feel like it's always interesting to see books from people who are like writing their first books and this is her first like fiction book and like i just am here for it and i love the cover art of it i think it's really pretty um so i'll link this one too so you guys can pick this one up the book play to win by jody slaughter looks like it's so so good and i'm really excited for this one it comes out july 11th so it is like a little bit of ways away but i feel like it's gonna be a really good one this is about Miriam butler and pretty much her life is like not really going how she wants it to go she's like sleeping in her parents home and like barely able to pay her bills and 
She goes to the corner store and while she's there, she ends up winning the Mega Millions lottery jackpot. And she's like so excited, but then she finds out that she has to split the money with her husband. And I guess she got a divorce, or didn't get a divorce, she got separated from her husband like eight years ago and they haven't spoken. And so she has to reach out to him and is like, hey, I like won this money, take your half, but finally sign these divorce papers because I'm like over this. And he like tries to win her back. So I don't really know if there's something that like kept them apart for eight years or like what, but I feel like this is giving, I don't know, like giving, what's that book? Is it Seven Days in June? No, Before I Let Go, I don't know. There was a book that I read, maybe it was Before I Let Go, um, like the whole like gotta win you back, like, you know, we like separated and we're like, you know, struggling and that thing. Like, I feel like this is gonna be a really good love story. Comes out July 11th, but I'm definitely pre-ordering this one. <laughs> this book looks incredible. It comes out on February 21st and it's called Last Chance Dance by Lakito Wilson. Now I feel like that, I feel like this story is one that I have not heard and it's very unique, which I love unique stories. Um, it is about, let me see if I can find the name of the character. Cause I want to like make sure I get this right. Her name is Layla and she had a crush on Dev and it was her boyfriend of four years, but he like dumped her and he breaks up with her right before graduation. But at their high school, they have this thing called last chance dance, where if you like go to this dance, it's pretty much your last chance at finding love in high school before you graduate. And at the last chance dance, you write down three crushes that you have. And if those three crushes write down your name as well, then like you go to the dance together, which freaking cute, like just gives movie vibes 100%. And so she, Layla writes down three different people. And one of the people she writes down is this guy from her chemistry class. And his name is Trey Hill and it's low key like her arch nemesis writes down three guys and all three of them match with her. So she goes on like all these different dates and I feel like, I ain't great enough for the book, but like it's kind of giving your falling in love with your enemy, like friends to lovers vibes. And I, I don't normally like those books, but I feel like when they're done well, like when you have good banter and stuff, like I fall in love with that storyline. So I'm really excited to read this one. This one comes out February 21st. Um, so literally like, just right around the corner and I am getting this one ASAP. <laughs> I'm gonna give a trigger warning for this one because it is about um, an assault and I feel like if you don't want to like hear what this book is about, just skip this part because that's literally what the book's about. It's called One Summer in Savannah by Tara Shelton Harris and it comes out July 11th, 2023. And I'm just gonna read the like little um, description because I feel like I wouldn't do it justice by just like sharing what I think it's about. Um, it says, it's been eight years since Sarah Lancaster left her home in Savannah, Georgia. Eight years since her daughter, Alana, came into this world following a terrifying sexual assault that left deep emotional wounds. Sarah would do anything to forget. But when Sarah's father falls ill, she's forced to return home and face the ghosts of her past. While caring for her father and running his bookstore, Sarah is desperate to protect her curious, outgoing, genius daughter from the Wilers, the family of the man who assaulted her. Sarah thinks she can succeed. Her attacker is in prison. His identical twin brother, Jacob, left town years ago, and their mother are all unaware Alana exists. But she soon learns that Jacob has also just returned to Savannah to piece together the fragments of his once great family. And when their two worlds collide with the type of force Sarah explores in her poetry and Jacob in his astrophysics, they are drawn together in unexpected ways. So I'm really interested to read this because obviously Jacob is the brother of Sarah's attacker and he like left the town and Sarah also left the town and they both, both come back to the town together. So I don't know if this is like a love story between them or if this is just like both of them healing and like rekindling and like i don't know like learning about themselves i am not sure um i just know that it looks like a good book so i'm going to for sure read this one but i um feel like this could be a hard one for some so definitely check the trigger warnings on this this book comes out january 31st so it's literally around the corner like just so so soon it's called reggie and delilah's year of falling by elise bryant and it says that if you like nicola yoon who wrote like everything everything or the sun is also a star you'll also like this book um it's by 
Elise Bryant, who is an NAACP Image Award winner, and I just feel like I have to say those accolades because like that's incredible. But this is a Miss Connections book, and there aren't a ton of tropes tropes I don't like, but I really love Miss Connections again when they're done well. And this one looks like it is gonna be a good one. It says Reggie and Delilah, they're very different people. Um, Delilah, she is pretty much like I don't know, it seems like she's hard on the outside. Um, she doesn't really open up easily. And Reggie, he's like a D&D dungeon master. Um, he likes, you know, leading quests and writing essays about like game, you know, things. And um, yeah, they're very different. And these two, they have really nothing in common. And they meet for the first time on New Year's Eve. And then they meet again on Valentine's Day. And they meet again on St. Patrick's Day. And they're pretty much just being like put in the same spaces like time and time again. And it says that Delilah wishes she could be like Reggie because he like does things that not everyone like thinks is cool or accepts, but like he's confident in it, at least so she seems or so she thinks. And then Reggie, he like wishes he could be with someone like Delilah because he's really just role playing that he's confident in what he loves and he's not actually confident in it. Um, but these meetings keep happening on the holidays and it says the two begin to fall for each other. But what happens once they realize they've each fallen for a version of the other that doesn't really exist. I know I keep saying that these books look good, but like this one looks so good. It's by Christina Forrest. It's called The Neighbor Favor. And pretty much it's about two writers, which just, when you're reading about writers, there's just so much like, I don't know, reading about artists, there's just something different about it. Like I just love it. And it's about Lily Green. She's like shy, like awkward, kind of bookish. And she writes nonfiction books, but she really wants to write um children's books instead but like pretty much her editors or like publishers or whatever are like pushing her to write nonfiction. and it said that she finds escapism in correspondence with her favorite fantasy author and it begins as two lonely people just like connecting and turning into like a deep friendship and possibly something more and then he just ghosts her like cuts her off and she's like what the heck Months later, she's still crushed that like this, you know, fantasy author just like ghosts her and it's her favorite fantasy author, but she's like, you know, what are you gonna do? And so she starts trying to like get her life together and her sister has a wedding coming up. So she tries to find a date and the perfect person to help her um, with this date is Nick Brown. And he is her charming, attractive new neighbor who she feels drawn to for some reason. She doesn't know why, but little does she know Nick is an author, her favorite fantasy author. Like guys, you just can't get better than this. So Nick, who uses a pen name, so like she doesn't actually know that he's a fantasy author that she was talking to, constantly pushes people away and he soon realizes that the beautiful Lily is the same quiet girl that he fell for like with their email chain. And so he agrees to set her up with someone else for this wedding, though the simple favor between two neighbors is anything but, and not when he can't get her off of his mind. Guys, this, this book looks like it's gonna like have me in a chokehold and I cannot wait to read it. It comes out um, February 28th, so it's very, very soon and you can pre-order it now. The next book that I'm most excited for the release in 2023 is uh, Sun Keep Rising by Chris Kristen, uh, wow, I literally can't talk. Kristen R. Lee. Now this book comes out today, January 24th, literally like the day that this video is going live, like not the day that I'm filming, the day this video goes live, January 24th, it will be out. So you can buy it now. And I feel like you guys are gonna be like just running to go pick up this book. Um, it's about a teen mom and it says when rent increases, it puts a teen mom at risk of losing her home. She resorts to a dangerous game to keep her family afloat, but all games have consequences and this isn't one she can afford to lose. So that's pretty much like what the book is about in a nutshell, but there's like a risky plan that she's like doing to help pay the bills and she has a daughter and she like wouldn't trade Mia for the world and she'll do anything to like kick, take care of her family. And I just, I'm here for that and I feel like there aren't enough books about the resilience of motherhood or single motherhood or like having to take care of your family and I'm really excited for this one and obviously if you guys are watching this video the book is out now so go buy it literally go buy it today I actually got the advanced like readers edition of this book it's like literally just 
so beautiful i mean look at the cover art of this it's so pretty um this one comes out in may i'm pretty sure let me like double check yeah may 30th but you guys can obviously order it now it's by india hill brown and it's called rhythm and muse and this is pretty much like giving cinderella-esque vibes but like from a guy's perspective and i am literally here for it i feel, feel like any book that kind of gives like the Disney vibes I feel like I'm here for like by the book by Jasmine Geller is one of my favorite books and I feel like this is gonna be one of my favorite books too I literally just got it so I haven't read it yet but I'll definitely let you guys know what I think but I feel like it's gonna be so good um it's about a guy named Darren and pretty much he lives in his own head for the most part he um is pining away for his dream girl Delia Dawson and pretty much Delia she announces a theme song contest for a popular podcast um, called Dilly D in the place to be and Darren's friends convinced him to submit one of his secret side projects for consideration. So after the anonymous romantic verse catches Dilly's ear, she sets out to uncover the mysterious singer behind the track. And Darren has to decide, like, do I want to like open up and tell like everyone that I came up like with this song um, and tell her like how he feels or does he want to like hide behind, you know, his music. And I just feel like that's the perfect love story. Like, I hope that it ends up with like Delia falling for him and like, I just, I don't know. I feel like it's gonna be so good. Also, the words and chapters look like they're very easy to read. The chapters aren't super long, which I love, and it looks like there's a lot of dialogue, like literally just going and like flipping through here. I see like lots of like conversations. Like, you know, sometimes books are too like wordy. This is not like that at all. I feel like this would be a quick read. Um, it's less than 300 pages. So pick this one up, like literally buy it. Like just freaking buy it. This is just gonna be so cute. So that is all 10 of my most anticipated book releases in 2023 by black authors or about black characters. There are tons of other books that I want to buy that are by white authors or about white characters, but I feel like I had a hard time finding books where I was represented or videos about like people that look like me. Um, some of the books that I'm really excited about by white authors, which you guys have probably seen in maybe 50 million other YouTube videos are Happy Place by Emily Henry, Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune, um, Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey, um, uh, The True Love Experiment by Christina Lauren. I love her books, I'm really excited for that one. Unfortunately Yours by Tessa Bailey. Her books are just like a really fun read. The Love Wager by Lynn Painter, and Things We Hide From The Light. I'm not really excited for that book because I didn't actually love the first book um, by Lucy Score that like everyone was obsessed with, um, but I always like to give an author a redemption story, and I feel like reading the second book is gonna be like that redemption story. And then also Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. I heard, still haven't read The Love Hypo Hypothesis, God, the love hypothesis but i have purchased it and by the time that this book's released in june i feel like i will be ready to read love theoretically even though they're not like a they don't like go together or anything it's not like a series but i just kind of want to read her first book first but those are the books that i'm like excited to come out by white authors or about white protagonists um but i feel like i just haven't seen any like most anticipated reads book videos for 2023 about, you know, black authors or black protagonists. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do have another video coming soon with um, lots of good recs, so make sure you subscribe. I love sharing content about um, books by black authors or just books in general by someone who I feel like is not as represented in YouTube spaces or just other spaces and I love to fill spaces and make people feel seen. So I hope that that video, this video did that for you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.